More than a dozen ghost guns seized. Police say he was making them and selling them. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera has more on the investigation. Sitting before you are 13 ghost guns, all made, police say, at a home in Meriden. This home, to be exact, off South Curtis Street. Police Chief Roberto Rosado says 31-year-old Jonathan Willette is behind the operation, selling them throughout the state. With the help of Middletown Police and federal partners like ATF, Willette was arrested yesterday morning. Not only removed these weapons from our communities, but also stopped Jonathan Willette from continuing to man manufacture ghost guns. We prevented these ghost guns from landing into the wrong hands of individuals with bad intentions. While the table looks full already, police say they have a lot more evidence, including more high capacity magazines and the tool they say will let use to make the guns. So five of these have been modified to be fully functional machine guns. So I think that's a way that, that you guys can equate how that how that looks. Um, you know, the rate of fire that can be done when th these weapons are modified is, is very concerning. While Willette has been arrested, police say this remains a very active investigation, trying to see if any guns he's made and sold have been used in crimes around the state. Meanwhile, more ghost guns are popping up in their other investigations. I think uh, we're up to 18 firearms seized uh, and within a week. We had three last night that we haven't disclosed yet. Uh, parole was out there last night. We assisted them with an investigation that led to three more firearms. We had two uh, other firearms seized last week in Southington. Um, so obviously there's great concerns throughout the city. While his bond was initially set at $3 million, a judge in court reduced it to $2 million. His next court date is June 29th. Now, Willette, he's also facing a risk of injury to a minor charge as a child was present during his arrest. Police wouldn't confirm if the child is his. Here in Meriden, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.